Hi guys, this is I'm Stuck, and today we're going to learn about the Earth's atmosphere and how it formed. Now, the way it actually um, started to form was very simple. Um, when there was just the sun, lots of dust and rocks flew around it, and gravitational pull pulled these together, eventually forming the Earth. Now, the atmosphere building up was is very is actually quite complicated. So the atmosphere was formed by volcanic activity. Um, the early atmosphere was composed of hot gases like carbon dioxide, water vapor, methane, nitrogen, ammonia, and hy hydrogen chloride. Now, the way this um, water and the sea came onto this earth was actually by meteors hitting it, and this these contained H2O in it. And now, as you may know, two thirds of the earth is water, so it is it, it was very important for that to happen. And that's also given you life, like the water life. Um, now, you may have thought that when I said these gases before, that oxygen wasn't on there. Now, there wasn't any, there was oxygen in the world, but it was found only in compounds. So, for example, methane oxygen would have turned to carbon dioxide and water, and ammonia and oxygen would have turned to nitrogen and water. So, oxygen doesn't build up because all these things are used to combine with other things like methane and ammonia. But over thousands of years, oxygen levels do rise. So plants evolve and colonize the Earth's surface. Animals start to evolve. And, but the thing was, before there was oxygen, simple bacteria did appear. And the way that they survived was they break down chemicals for energy. When oxygen does appear, these animals die out because they can't stand the high oxygen levels because it is poisonous to them. Some still survive today, however, because they live in deep ocean swamps. But plants come in and they start, they use photosynthesis, uh, they, they don't have the ability to make their own food for themselves, so they use photosynthesis, uh, photosynthesis um, and oxygen is now a waste product. <coughs> so, yeah, and that's basically what happened in the Earth. I mean, it's kind of a long time, it's four billion years it happens, and then you can go over to when the continents come and you can look at Wegener's evidence now he believed that what happened was there was just one continent um he, he was in this was in 1915 but he believed that all the continents had once been joined uh, together but slowly drifted apart his evidence was that shapes of continents fit together like a jigsaw and fossils and rocks match up when continents are put together so other scientists felt that as hot air cooled, the surface was wrinkled, forming mountains, and continents had once been joined by land bridges. Um, but so Wegener was actually really correct about his ideas about how there was just one continent, and these due to continental drift, the um, they had actually started um, coming apart. But he wasn't accepted at the time because he had no evidence to explain how continents could move and other scientists had different ideas and he wasn't actually an expert geologist however later when tectonic, uh, tectonic plates was uh, found out that was the evidence he needed so of course the earth was made over four billion billions uh, billions of years made i think four billion years or something and it's it's come through stages right at the start when it was very hot and then it's gone to cold and then it's uh, and then it's been uh, shattered with meteorites. But now, as as it's evolved, humans have come on, and now it's a very different world. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.